Taking a look at our most beloved and cherished cars of our current and last generation, we can't help but see a pattern. Mustang, MR2, 240SX, RX-7, A86, the Supra, S2000, BRZ FRS, 370Z, Miata, NSX, and the list goes on and on. All of them are rear-wheel drive, and that's no coincidence. I'm going to take a moment today and I'm going to go ahead and explain why our favorite cars are rear-wheel drive. Firstly, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that there are front-wheel drive performance cars. Most of them are certainly slower than their rear-wheel drive counterparts, but they definitely serve a purpose and have a cult following all of their own. I'm well aware that there are Civics that can blow the doors off nearly anything, and I'll talk a little bit about those demons too. For this video, however, I mainly want to discuss why rear-wheel drive is better for sports cars as a base platform. I'll begin by talking about front-wheel drive and some of the advantages of the platform, uh, before I go ahead and explain why they tend to be beaten out by their rear-wheel drive counterparts. Front-wheel drive is a creation of convenience and necessity. Modern front-wheel drive vehicles mainly base their roots from the mid to late 1940s. Front-wheel drive was created to make the engine and transmission more modular, while also giving the passengers greater footroom. It's not surprising that early drivetrain systems lacked advanced innovation. This made standard drivetrain components big and bulky. This created large bulges in the footwells, filling leg and cargo space. For the everyday layperson, comfort was the most important factor in their automobile. So the more spacious interior was a welcome change. The 1959 Mini became the poster child for this new exciting front-wheel drive platform. The advertisements boasted that 80% of the vehicle was for its occupants, meaning less room was designated for its mechanical components. The modern transverse mounted front engine front wheel drive platform was born. We can see from this brief look into the history that the front wheel drive platform was never made for performance. Front wheel drive was an innovation to bring more economic and practical motoring to the masses. By containing both the engine and drivetrain into the engine bay, automakers could build vehicles with much cheaper assembly procedures and with much lower costs. Alright, so now that we know the origin of front wheel drive, let's go ahead and take a look at how it stacks up against its competition. We can start by explaining why rear wheel drive cars are almost always faster than front wheel drive cars. It's all about how the weight of the car moves under acceleration. I've talked about this in a lot of my videos because it really is that important. When you accelerate, the tires will push the car forward at the point where they contact the road. In every car, this is going to be the lowest point. What this means is the inertia is going to force the weight to the rear. How much pressure this puts on the rear tires depends on how far the center of mass is above the center of grip. As an example, in a Civic, as the car begins to accelerate, the weight is taken off the front tires and placed on the rear tires. You can already see the problem. As the weight moves from the front tires, the car scrambles for grip and struggles to accelerate as the tires are pulled from the ground. Comparing this to a rear wheel drive car will give you predictable results. It's the complete opposite. Although the car starts with a little bit less weight on the rear tires, the weight is transferred into the driving wheels allowing for increased grip and performance. This act of weight transfer works really well with rear wheel drive cars and punishes the front wheel drive counterparts. To see extreme examples of this transfer and its advantages, you need not look any further than drag cars as they lift their front tires off the ground, maximizing this weight transfer. Before I get any further ahead of myself, let's examine why some of these front wheel drive cars are so fast and what performance advantages they have even though the physics is working against them. We can't talk about performance front wheel drive cars without talking about the elephant in the room. Honda. Some people hate Hondas, others love them, but it's a polarizing brand and one thing is certain, Hondas can be fast. The biggest advantage front engine, front wheel drive cars have is weight. Because the car isn't rear wheel drive, it doesn't need many of the components or structural elements you would find in a traditional rear wheel drive car. 
the chassis can be thinner and the drivetrain lighter. A stock 1993 Civic came from the factory as light as only 2,039 pounds. That's just ridiculous. For comparison, the Civic weighed less than even the Miata. And people think those cars are tiny. What this means is that there are Civics running around that weigh well under 2,000 pounds and have modified engines with ludicrous amounts of power. At that point, with some racing slicks, you aren't going to beat them in a drag race, unless you're driving something even more grotesque. I go into a little bit more detail on the subject of weight in my video about the best way to make your car faster. The other advantage that front wheel drive sports cars have is that the weight is mainly over the drive wheels, meaning although they may not have physics on their side, they are easy to drive and often far more practical. When you're driving in rough conditions, these cars will often have better traction and remain far more stable than your standard rear wheel drive car. Lastly, people who own front wheel drive sports cars tend to boast about how nimble the car may feel. This immediate sense of control is because the heavy components are all at the front of the car, meaning there is almost no polar inertia. Simply, polar inertia is the resistance to a change in direction due to leverage. Because all the weight is at the front, the car essentially turns on the front axle, making it extremely responsive. All of that aside, let's go ahead and get back on track, because even though front wheel drive cars have many positive attributes, they rarely will surpass the abilities of a traditional rear wheel drive sports car. The biggest problem for front wheel drive cars is the absolute advantage rear wheel drive gives to its own platform. Because physics forces the majority of weight onto the rear tires under acceleration, these cars will accelerate faster and have more balanced handling. The rear wheel drive platform also gives the driver far greater control. This control, however, is a double-edged sword and does take some time to master. This is the ability to create oversteer. We can see the abuse of this oversteer characteristic in drifting, but it doesn't need to be quite this obvious. Oversteering from acceleration can give small amounts of rotation and is the sign of a skilled driver. This slight oversteer that I'm talking about is often referred to as slip angle, which is the act of creating slightly more rotation all while maintaining peak levels of traction. If a driver can maximize their performance gained through this slip angle, he can increase the agility while placing the majority of the weight on the driving wheels. This maximizes the performance. The car is accelerating at its maximum potential and changing direction faster than what would ordinarily be possible. This is the absolute advantage. This control over slip angle is why there are no front wheel drive supercars, it's why most race cars are rear wheel drive, and it's what makes rear wheel drive cars so much fun to drive. The skill ceiling is far higher, the risks much more exciting, and the rewards far sweeter. I appreciate all of you for watching. I'm going to be making a video about all wheel drive cars in comparison to rear wheel drive cars shortly, so be sure to look for that. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you would subscribe to see more of my content and give me a like to promote it to others so I can make more content like this. With that, I'll see all of you in the next one.